Yeah, the, the main idea was doing, since policies questions and policies issues are just for you and you are the one facing those, they're very personalized issues. So I just wanted to go like a Q&A session at the beginning. Maybe you, we can just break down on the glossary on what really means and how you can solve those issues. But yeah, it was basically a Q&A session. But at the end, the title is Escape Your Own Life Business Without Worrying for Bad Issues. It's, I know it's a big promise, but um, if you understand some basics, I think you can avoid some issues at the end. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> so these are just the key takeaways. Um, but really what I, what I wanted to do is that those are the most common search policies in Google, like A's, like a financial industry, those are just the main, and maybe some of you guys have faced them before. So who here is, uh, has an e-com business? Can raise their, their hand? Okay, and who has an info product? Okay, and the, and the others? <laughs> what, did, what do you guys do? Coaching, okay, or, mar or uh, agencies. Okay, good, good, got it. So who has um, faced any of those issues and, and who has ever had any question regarding these things in the list? None? You? Good. Uh, you too. Okay, so uh, whoever had any question that's been unsolved, you, you, can, you can ask it now if you want to. Just go for it. Yeah. For me, it's my Instagram account is banned. <laughs> <laughs> but we can also go first with Facebook ads if there's more questions like that. Well, we can, if there are ad questions, we can go and then we can go with yours. Yeah. Anyone had ad questions before? No? So, your Instagram account. Yeah, Good. so it would be interesting to know kind of what, uh, I mean, Facebook ads slash Instagram is looking for there. Um, is it, you know, because I think I don't, didn't violate any policies or anything. And what is not allowed to do, what, I know, for example, Instagram looks for if you do actions too quickly, like following people too quickly, these types of things, messaging too many people, or even use third party tools. This stuff is not allowed, I, I know that. Um, but apart from this, is there maybe anything, why Instagram bans accounts, what you can do so it doesn't happen in the future? Um, of course, there are like spammy behaviors, like you're saying, just being like a bot or being like a bot. But there are also community standards, and it affects like even what you comment or what you say on the DMs, or even someone reports your DM. Anything can trigger it. Uh, also, the content you're doing. If you ever do an ad with your profile and you have organic content, your profile can, can go down because your organic content is failing to to follow Facebook policies. If you, if you look at it, um, when, when you're doing uh, an ad with your Instagram, your profile uh, becomes your landing page. So uh, the bot system will, will review your, your Instagram account as, it, as it's reviewing a an, an landing page. If you're failing in any post to follow Facebook ads policies or community standards, it will go down, potentially go down. Also, there's private impersonation. I don't know if this is the, the, the reason, we'll need to just see the tag that's uh, affecting your Instagram account. But maybe let's say someone is impersonating you. And this guy, he put 10K bots following the account. And then 10K bots um, saying that reporting you. Then your account is the one that's triggered as an as a impersonated account. This can happen. What can you do against impersonators? I had this a few times. But if you have impersonators, what you can do, you can just report it. Yeah. Um, it's good if you have your, your Facebook profile with your ID in the Facebook profile, and your Facebook profile is in the account center with your, with your Instagram account, you won't be disabled for impersonating because Facebook already has your ID and they know you ha you're a real person. Yeah. So this could help too. Yeah, yeah. And is it not a quick follow-up question? Uh, I know a lot of people, they have, for example, um, team members or even assistants logging to their accounts. And then you have different IP addresses where people are logging into the account. Could this also be a reason why accounts are banned if you have from different countries even, people logging into the same account? Uh, no, not really. It happened before, like 
long time ago, but Facebook already knows that, that when a comp center pop up, um, what Facebook did is we know many people is sharing a, a Instagram profile. And what we want to know is when they're running ads, we just want to know who's doing it. So they don't care what IP is logging in the Instagram. Yeah. What they do care is who's doing ads with the Instagram account. Mm. Yeah, because I'm not running any ads and still the account. Okay. Man. Well, it could be the, the impersonation, like yeah. I told you. Could be many things, but we can look at uh, later yeah. having your Instagram account. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Guys, coming now to the ad part. Right, so perfect, the organic way. I would like to do a little exercise with all of you. Okay, so first one, please stand up. We really appreciate it, thank you for your cooperation. Amazing. And what I would like you to do, guys, is to, I mean, you see, we have like two rows, right? Two columns. And I would like that the e com guys and girls are on this side, and the non e com guys are on this side. Feel free to change seats. The ones that are e com stay here. The lead generation info product has to order all over here. That was your, your life. We'll change it from e com. And your e com product is e com. You can take a seat now. Or you, can, you, can, you can, but just, I just wanted to order the uh, audience a little bit. So here's the non e com part. And here we have the e com part. Now feel free to take a seat again. That's your new seat for now. And Awesome. How are you working here? Well, there, there are seats on every one of guys. Oh, so where are we? Awesome. So we have the e-com side of the room and we have the non-e-com side of the room. We, we have lots of e-com experts, right? We do, we do. And therefore we should start with the e-com guys yeah. a little bit. So from the e-com side, who dares to say what's wrong here? All the ad policies are, yeah, go for it. Just that? Uh, I didn't read the text yet. See yourself is not a thing. The photo is very tall. It, it was like a promise. Yeah, it's promising results. OK. Also, I think they don't like the arrows. OK. OK. So yeah, there are like six or seven ad policies here. Crazy. Before and after, the arrows, like Manette said, uh, the septin um, issues, um, like uh, how you feel about yourself, the bottle also uh, over promising, so it's like too many ad policies right he just right here. So, yeah, good about the arrows. I didn't know people will, will see that. It's not very common to people know about that. But um, yeah, so Facebook, um, they not only care about this, they do care about things as a whole. So if you want to do before and after, like people saying about before and after, you can't do it on the same square. You can do this before and after, but not, not in the same square. So if you make it a video showing like before results and how things are happening and a little bit of storytelling and just show the final result, it's not a before and after at the end. And you can potentially do that. Um, but the IRS, you can't do that anymore. <laughs> You're so screwed about it. But uh, I made like, like a little glossary, and you guys, I don't know if you remember, I made a little bit questions on if you had any issue, you can send it to me on WhatsApp. And I also asked a few friends if they could send me a few questions that we can solve it here on stage. Um, I had a friend, uh, he do drop shaving, and he was asking me what to, does circumvent the system uh, means and how can he skip it or how can be free from it? At the end, um, circumvent the system is a small note on Facebook that you're doing things and you're trying to skip them, their, their review system. So it happens a lot in the, in the e com world that um, when you're on a scale hard and, and you have like uh, limits per page, ads limits per page, you want to do a secondary page or your page score goes, goes down and you create a second page, whatever, that's your commenting system because you're trying to um, surpass the, the reviewing system. Um, I had another friend, he asked, he asked me why my ads have been rejected after they were already approved. Does anyone ha had this before? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> lots, right? 
So um, basically it is that um, if you had ever an ad rejected in your ads manager, what will happen with the system is it, it triggers a reactive review. So all your ads, if there's a threshold, right? So if you had quite a few ads rejected, the reactive review will start and maybe a person will go and check on all of your ads and maybe we'll see some of your, your ads that are not com uh, policy compliant. Um, what also could happen is that maybe your page score goes down um, and all your ads for that page, they also go down. So this is the reason, just wanted to, maybe someone else had this question too. Uh, I already answered this one. A friend, <laughs> he loves doing before and after uh, ads. He's in the dropshipping uh, business and what sells the most. And I told him the same question, the, the same answer as you guys, like just not put ever in the same square of the, of the image, just try to make a video out of it. And you could potentially go through with a, a before and after ads. Um, also this, um, what does Facebook thinks or counts as too much skin when you're doing ads? Um, <laughs> It's not, do, it's not the same if you want to run your own bikini store that Victoria's Secret doing ads, right? <laughs> so um, what happens many times is that uh, if it goes to a reactive review or a manual review, the, the people reviewing the ad will look onto what country your target audience is and what for that target audience is too much skin. Also, what they do is that uh, there are tags added to ad accounts and pages, and if you had, have like an amount of ad spend, the bot system won't trigger and won't disable your account so fast that it will do if it's a new ad account. <coughs> Good, Patrick? Excellent. And one of the lower ones is actually something that happened to me recently. Like the, the guy, let's call him Phil. <laughs> name is actually really filled and I added him to my ad account and after one week the CPM went up to 126 euros. I was like what the fuck child what just happened and he's like man so Phil and the stage between us is one of the founders of Edward and he did a lot of business grey hat things and he has like a, a ban or something a flag on his account and I added him, he was well, editing to my account because we did this launch of Esper Firestone this Wednesday. And all of a sudden, I, you made me pay 126 <laughs> Why did you do this to me? I'm totally <laughs> So, why the hell does this happen? Yeah, so um, I don't know if you, any of you guys were in a Zoom call I, I did too, that this is an integrity, um, like an integrity penalty. Facebook can put into your profile. So if you had like a threshold of many disabled things or you in the past did bad things in Facebook, your integrity in Facebook will, will be affected and the trust in, for Facebook in your assets is affected. So if you're added to, a, to, a, um, to an asset or you added the payment method on, the, on an ad account or whatever happened, so there will be a penalty on your, on your ad account and the, and the CPMs will be just crazy, like three times, four times what, ha what usually is. And it's not, when it surpasses 60, 70 euros per CPM, it's for sure an integrity user uh, um, thing that is affecting something in, in those assets. And what we did to solve it uh, with Phil is that um, we cleared all the restriction he had it, been to his profile and we were just um, clearing any restriction he ever had in the past and hoping now that things and CPMs are going down in the future, in the short term. Guys, anyone has a question? The idea is to just make it really Q&A. Yeah, I want to follow up on this because it's my own business and I have a lot of questions. <laughs> what happens to my ad account? So you solved Thing, which yes. is good, yes. but is my ad account now fucked the rest of my life? No, no, you just need to kick him out of your account. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 126 euros, Antonio, for 1,000 impressions, and it, I kicked him out. It solved? Uh, it lowered it a little bit. A little. A yeah, little. it lowered it a little it's, bit. It's so, that immediately it was no. Like yeah, no, so sometimes what you need to do is just, you need to clear everything from the pixel, any data from the pixel or even just using a new pixel after, afterwards.
Amazing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Super excited for that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and then, then it will be all good. But you need to clear every, any data from the pixel. Good. Any other question, guys? No? Yes. What kind of business it is? Is it dropshipping or a real brand or? Like shops. It's like a real brand. Well, yeah, yeah. With one, um, because they had some issues in the past, they made like herbal, herbal products for babies. So it's actually like natural stuff, but basically sometimes things is um, like supplements. It's not, but they think it is. Okay. Um, so that's why we got a second. Okay. So the the best scenario in this, if it's a private brand, it's like a real brand, is just having several ad accounts inside the same business manager running ads at the same time for for them. So you can have like a secondary or even a third ad account running, maybe just boost a post or interaction or something different to the same business. That'll be the 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 best thing to do because there is there's a threshold inside the business manager on how many ad accounts you have disabled regarding the, the, the active uh, ad accounts. So if you have like one ad account, that's the only ad account that is active and it gets disabled, it might trigger that the whole business manager goes down. But if you have like uh, several ad accounts, they're all live and they're all spending just a little bit, two euros per day, three euros per day, just the hundred euros mark per month. If you have that and one ad account goes down, you still, your business manager won't, get, won't go down. And the idea in this part is not that just, oh, I have this disabled ad account, so now I can run, uh, run the same ads in this ad account. No, you, you won't do that. You're, th that's just to keep safe your business manager. What, what you wanna do in those cases is, okay, my business manager is live, I, I can't continue running ads, but I need to appeal this ad account. If you just go with the same ads in a different ad account, what will happen is circumventing systems. And then again, your business manager will go down. I don't know if that um, answers the question. And, okay, because actually, uh, last week, kind of from Google, somebody said um, if they have several ad accounts, they only have one ad account active, and it's only active with one credit card, and if this one gets disabled, you move to the next, and you add your credit card, only then when you need it. No, there's a, there's some problem with that. There's, there's there's a threshold for having the same credit card in different uh, ad accounts, but it's, the threshold is having your the same credit card in 16 ad accounts. So I don't think that's the the situation here. And and what you're suggesting is a very dropship instructor. What they do is they have like I don't know three business managers and one business manager that created the pixels, one an, uh, a business manager that operates the ad accounts, and then they have like a, a backup business manager to operate or keep operating the, the, the same ads for the, for the thing. But the issue with this is if it's a brand, you don't wanna do that because your page might go down. In the dropshipping business, when they do these structures and just moving on from business manager to business manager, they, they don't care because pages are disposable. And in a brand, your page is not really disposable, right? Good, any, any of you guys have another question? Yes. What about having logos in the, in the ad image? Like the, the thing is, when I have logos or social in like all, uh, like all these digital things, there's no problem. Can, sorry, can you repeat? Yeah, yeah, having logos in the ad image, yes. so that one. Um, and then on the one side, whenever I add logos that are about social proof, like Vogue, Cosmopolitan, those like featured in, no problem, no anything ever. But then I have a client that's reselling, meaning like he goes to providers and he sells, they sell sunglasses, like Ray-Ban, Tom Ford, stuff like that. That's my selling point. So whenever I mention, either in the copy or in the image, any of these logos or stuff like that, it just goes down because they think I'm trying to trick people into, I don't know the exact policy violation, but all of the ads that have logos of these big brands, 
get that. So like, what can I do in there to position it? Like, do I go with the general message that we have the original brands, or what can I do? There, there's a reseller permission for that. You can, you can, yeah, you can apply to a reseller permission, uh -huh. and if you really actually prove that the the what you're saying is original and where you get it and everything, you can apply for a reseller thing. It gets like people call it whitelisted that account, but it will prevent your account getting disabled just from doing this. So you just need to apply for a reselling. Uh, so reseller. Yes, it's a reseller. And you, you had also a so question, right? So yep. um, my personal account is disabled since uh, April last oh. year. Okay. I tried everything to get it back. Okay. So can you use it for my pro uh, personal profile? It's not a problem, but it's not possible to log in the business manager. So now I have to use the account from my wife. But for my personal profile, it would be good also for the next years that I have it back. So is there any chance? To get it back or what is the best to do it? So if you want to get it back, you need to do it quick because after one year, you can't recover anything. Okay. So yeah, there's some, there, there might be things to do it. In Maybe for. a quick update, I've, I've had the same issue. Okay. And it completely fucked me up. And so I wrote Kai Hetzenberger, he's the CEO from uh, Facebook in Germany. Okay. <laughs> Non-stop on LinkedIn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and, and one time she answered and said, no, there's no chance <laughs> and, uh, and stop scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how, how much time you, your profile has been disabled in that case? Um, I don't know how often, to be honest, but um, the, last, the last time it was um, the situation that I can log in into business from Facebook.com, but unfortunately I can't do anything. So it's just a um, right issue, hey, you're blocked from advertising. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can't do anything. If it happened in less than one year ago? Uh, that's a good question, to be honest. I don't know exactly, but okay. I think it's less than one year. If it's less than less than one year, it, there's high chances to get it back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. How? <laughs> ah, that's the question. Magic is the answer. <laughs> so, yeah, basically there are many things to do inside it. Um, what happens and why you can't get it after one year is that Facebook, like many other companies, they had like big budget just in, in servers. So after one year, they clear servers regarding profiles and why they got banned. So they can. It was can my hope, to be honest. Yeah. They don't know in history. And what? It was my hope that they um, cleared everything. No, no. So that they cleared the cache or something like that. No, no they. they I have a completely white. Uh, white <laughs> no, they, they, they clear the disabled reason. Mm -hmm but they keep the, the disabled <laughs> tag. <laughs> so yeah, that's why you can't get things back more than one year being disabled because the team can actually see why it was being disabled in the, in the first point. So if you did, they don't know if you did really something bad, so they won't skip SOPs just for, for doing it. Yeah. But yeah, that's the reason. And if it's less than that one year ago, just look for it and give me a, a WhatsApp message and maybe you can do, do something about it. Good. <laughs> Good guys. Uh, anyone has another question? So, if not, I'll, yeah, go. I always, always was thinking to make a new profile with my yeah, same name. So okay. I'm sure at the beginning there are friends, there's no, there's no engagement and so on, and not fast, maybe from Facebook. Is this a risk that you make a new profile and adds this to the business manager? Yeah, high risk because uh, Facebook can see the profile, not only the, the like, the IP of the profile, they can, only, they can also recognize the pictures and they will just disable both profiles, like both. So there's no point doing it. Um, I wouldn't suggest it. You can have like a secondary profile, but if you buy it from someone else, <laughs> if you want to do it, like gray area, there's lots in it, but I wouldn't recommend ever just doing a secondary profile if your first profile was disabled. <clears throat> Guys, um, so I, I will skip these things because no one had like specific questions of, of this, but I, I want to go straight to um, what ACE review is because I, I believe it's very important, not only for, for e-com, but also for coaches, because you will see how Facebook know every time you post an ad or you're starting a new company or you're starting a new page, Facebook ultimately knows 
um, if you're an income, if you're an infopel, you're a SaaS, what kind of industry and vertical you are. And it's very important knowing how they know it because um, it can prevent you from doing things and also it makes the system more efficient. Um, this is like ACE is after conversion experience and these are the, the kind of after conversion experience inside uh, Facebook, just online products, digital goods, mobile, lead gen, anything. When, when your page goes down, it goes down because of this. And if your page goes down, you, you can't get it back. It's like, I can't, I can't do that, I'm magic. <laughs> okay, but um, this is what Facebook do every time you launch, you launch a new ad. So what they actually do is that they go for the, the URLs of the ads you launch and they want to see what's in it, right? What you're, what you're selling, what you're uh, showing to the people, what you're doing. And like it says here, most of the cases, this, the first two um, URLs you're sending people is your real product. So they will just automatically know if you're an e-com, you're an info product, you're a SaaS, you're, what's your business? And this is how they do it. Give me a here. So um, like this is the SOP for tagging if you're an e-com. If you're selling physical products, the, the, the system will see just like, okay, is this guy saying price in the ad? Is he has any discount in the, in the ad? If the CTA purchase shop or whatever, is the, the asset has like a shop now or the, the Instagram shopping or the Facebook shopping. And if they have anything in the ad copy or in the, or in the website with, free shipping or one day shipping or 24 or whatever the shipping is. But if you have anything in this, you'll be tagged as an e-com. Why is it important knowing this? Because the comments people do in, the, in, your, in an e-com, they're related to the product. And the bot system, when knowing your an e-com, they will look for this kind of comment, preventing you from giving bad experience to people. So if people comment like a uh, quality product, uh, delay shipping, or whatever, they will take down the page. But if they do it, like delay product, uh, uh, bad product quality or delay sh shipping on, a, on an info product or, on, or a coaching page, the page won't get disabled because it's fake, right? It's like, wouldn't make sense. You, you guys got it here? Or? Okay, so, and this is how I do it for digital goods, so this is how Facebook will look if you're an, uh, selling a, a subscription membership, if you're selling an info product or a coaching thing. They'll just look like, okay, um, you're talking about purchase, but you don't talk about delivery. You have a contact button and your, your CTAs is always, um, the end point is to schedule a call or something related to that. So that's how Facebook will start looking on if, if people start commenting scam, um, fake, or uh, in, in Spanish they say humo. If you get lots of these comments, Facebook um, increasing your CPMs because they don't know if this quality is good. So these things happen. And, and if you comment like um, humo, uh, which is um, like you're selling something that's air on an e com, it won't get a higher CPMs for this. That's how the system and the bot system is like um, more efficient, right? And many people also ask this, <clears throat> uh, the trust tire, because, and why some people can run certain ads, why others can't. So um, everything has, has a trust tire in Facebook, your profile, your business manager, your ad account, your page, and depending on your trust tire, you can ask or do or make different things that others can't. So that it, maybe you guys have seen it, when you're starting a new ad account or you're a new business, um, <clears throat> your ad account gets like disabled at start or you get more ads rejected at start than, than when you're having like a regular ongoing business or, or when you stop ads for a certain amount of time and you wanna go back again, at the beginning your ads get like rejected or might be affected. So this is good to know if anyone just have it clear. It's good that, to know that when you start, you, you, the, the, the path will be a little bit more rusty. 
All good, Patrick? Okay. Uh, and at the end is, why might I get my ad account get disabled without any explanation? So just for you guys to know, there's always an explanation on why your ad account is disabled. There's always a reason. But like I answered you, to you, um, there's a threshold on the, um, on the, dis on the um, ads rejected. And if you, it's a new ad account with a low trust tire and you get just one ad rejected and you have many more ads in review, the whole ad account will go down. So just to, just like a, a small comment, if you're running a new ad account, go with low, low ads at the same time, just try to push, I don't know, no more than five, because if you have many ads in review while one of them gets rejected, the whole ad account will go down. Um, there's also the disabled threshold. Um, there, if your ad account got like, I don't know, three or four ads rejected and it's new, it will get shut down for sure. Also, um, user load, load trust tire, like we talked with this guy with Phil, um, when someone is added to that asset and there's low trust on the, on the user that is added to the asset, that account is shut down on purpose by the bot system just be, because they want to force a manual review on the ads. So they do just on purposely just, just force a manual review and that's why they, they add accounts get disabled that start. Uh, new ad accounts disabling aggressively. That's also disabled, like do it purposely because they want to manual review what's going on there. So when they see like weird behaviors and <laughs> scaling from 23K uh, uh, per month to 900K, if it's a new ad account, they will for sure <laughs> disable it because they want to check everything in it. Um, this is MLEX. MLEX is kind of weird. I know if in um, e-com you have seen an ad that you think this ad is good, this ad uh, doesn't validate any policy uh, thing, and still it's rejected and I can't run it. Um, that's because that product has been sold in Facebook in the past, and they put a tag on it. It's like an, an X check on the, on the ad for those products so you don't run them because they have shown bad experience in the past for users. So even the, the ad is compliant, you can sell it. Um, tarantula is also something weird, which is if there's a score issue from one page and that page is made to an ad account, the whole ad account will get disabled and you won't get that back for sure. So well guys, um, I hope you can give me more questions just to help you out. It will be amazing. Yeah, sure. When you uh, skipped through your pages, there were information about uh, cannabis, and uh, it might be this might get legal in the future, so it's uh, quite interesting. Maybe you can uh, say something about it? So yeah, yeah, cannabis can be legal in some countries, but uh, Facebook is worldwide. So it needs to be worldwide um, legal to be able to run it on Facebook. What you can do to, to do this, someone asked it on the, on the English mastermind, um, it was, you can have like a blog and you can run traffic ads to that blog and in the blog you can talk about the benefits of uh, CBD or, or cannabis or this, well cannabis you can but CBD maybe and in that blog you can uh, then take the traffic to, to your shop and that's a way you could potentially run cannabis ads. Also if you run ads like just talking about the benefits of CBD and there's nothing nor in the ad nor in the landing page you're sending people to that they could buy there then you can run those just talking about the benefits of CBD you can run those ads good anyone else yeah sure so you talked before about um, ads and maybe bad, bad comments like fake or scam or something like this so if you have uh, ads running and you some are bad, um, do you suggest to hide them or to block them, the person who made the comment, or do you suggest to delete them, or do you more answer? So when, when someone uh, just uh, comments scam, what Facebook, what Facebook do is that they match if the, the user that commented this, they ever really uh, bought from the store. So they put just the user ID and they try to ma match it with your pixel. And if this 
person have ever bought from it, no, even if you hide it or delete it, they will know these people had a bad experience with their product. But if, if someone just saying scam and they didn't ever really bought from you, you can hide it just to um, improve your CTR because having bad comments doesn't look good, but it wouldn't affect you in those cases. In the other case, if they really bought, even if you hide it, delete it, appeal it, it truly affects uh, the, the page quality. And is it better to delete it or to hide it? Or does it have to have any effect? I'd rather, I rather hide it because um, at the end of the day, if you, you can appeal uh, comments, you know? You, you can appeal comments. I'd rather appeal them if I don't appeal it, I just hide it, but I wouldn't personally delete them. Okay. Just me. I don't know. I don't have like a specific question, just this is worse than this. Because it's still in the in the history of the of the comment in the he's still there. Okay? No one else? Yes. It's um, if anything is aff affecting like a specific people, like this a disease is affecting a collective. You need to go for social ads. You need to press that the tag. It will affect uh, like the audiences you can use, but you could potentially just put the, the, the political and social ads, but you still need to bend the disclaimer to your ad account. So first, what you need to do is to create a disclaimer for, to talk about social ads, then attach that disclaimer to the ad account, and then when running those out, just click on the box, and you could potentially do. Is this like an online business, or just like a information? Okay, then always you need to tag the, the social ads. Yes, always. Also, there's um, there's a box on the on the business manager when you can go to. Uh, I don't remember the correct path, but there is a thing in the business manager that you can apply for media. And if you're talking about like many things, your your page gets like in a list that they talk about media things. You just need to go in the business manager, there's a section in it, and you apply for a media page, and this thing is, uh, is attached now to your page so you talk about social issues and things, controversial things. Well, guys, if there's no more question, I'm glad to, I, I was really happy to be here, and hope you enjoy it, okay? Ooh. Ah, Manel. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, just go for it, go for it. Commerce usually doesn't affect like the the, the ad account uh, thing, but I don't I can't answer you if it affects maybe DPA's campaigns. I don't know if it affects DPA dynamic. Overall, it's not very formats, right? What? Overall, it's not very like a drama. No, it's it's not really a drama. It's not really uh, commerce. It's like not really a drama if you have like rejected products inside the catalog. To be honest. Great. Okay. Now, thank you guys. Oh.